We're at the World Health Organization on March 21, talking to Chris. And um, I, I'm going to ask Chris about the pandemic negotiations that are going on. Chris, can you start by introducing yourself, explaining why you're in Geneva, how the negotiations on the pandemic treaty are going, and what advice you have to negotiators? Thank you. Uh, uh, at the moment, I'm in WHO participating in an international effort which is the expert committee on international non-proprietary names. Most of you will know that as the generic names. The WHO gives these generic names and it is a very good example of cooperation for public health. So a generic name is known, every country knows what the substance is through its generic name. But to get on to, first of all, a quick background, I am Krisanta Virasurya, Professor Emeritus in Pharmacology in the University of Colombo, but had a rather varied career, academic in Sri Lanka, worked with the WHO in New Delhi, and then in WHO headquarters as a secretary of the expert committee on essential medicines. My life is essential medicines. Now, <clears throat> quickly on to essential medicines. Essential medicines has, this, has delivered to the low and middle income countries an enormous amount of good. Yes, there are medicines, but we have to choose, and that's been the tool which has chosen the medicines. Now to move on to pandemics. I mean, as far as we know, we have to have a standard, a uniform public health outlook for pandemics, because it is a global threat. It's not anything which is localized to a particular place and in that way <clears throat> this is why this is very important to us but on the side we've also seen that it's been a threat which made the high income countries afraid and started talking about cooperation of low and middle income countries which they had ignored so far. That was because the low and middle income countries could send the virus, the virus could spread from them as the virus has no, no country borders. And I wish the global public health community adopts the attitude of the virus, which is there should be no borders and there should be a uniform method to uh, tackle pandemic uh, emergencies. For us, in the low and middle income countries, what we see is that all organizations exist within the society, within governance, pharmaceutical companies, any other companies. And they're existing within the government, within society means they got to obey the rules of the government and society. And in that particular situation, it is important that when there are extraordinary circumstances, extraordinary measures are required, and those measures will be with regards to making medicines freely available. And that is why the pandemic treaty negotiations are important, that when there is a problem, a potential of a pandemic, that would mean we would require to use everything within our disposal with all barriers broken down to treat this. The whole world low and middle income countries, high income countries are in it together and therefore to have barriers on what we can use in low and middle income and what can be separated and can be used in high income countries 
is totally inappropriate, against public health, and most importantly, against the whole population of the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. <laughs>